Okay, I said I would take some pictures of some of this stuff that's been found just across the Tennessee border that I've cut for Jesse. As you can see, this stuff not only has the magnetite and the peridot and the chalcedony, there's hematite in there. Can you see that little red dot? I don't know, but it's there. The stuff does streak red. It's hematite. You can see the silver metal metallic surface. It's gray. Hematite. So, add one to that list. And uh, I'll show you a batch of them here. That came from that particular batch of stuff Jesse gave me. This one's not going to stand up, so I'll just hold it up there for you. Oh. Um, um. There you go. There it is. Ooh, some nice stuff. Um. This one. Oops. Got some nice things in it now. There you go. And there's another one. Now I've got something else I want to show you. That is really pretty neat about this stuff. Like I said, it has peridot, chalcedony, or quartz, um, magnetite, and hematite. Well, this actually came from, we think, the old cranberry mine. It was in a stamping mill over just over the Tennessee border, heading over towards uh, Johnsonville, Tennessee. Back around the turn of the century, I guess it was. Oops. Um, This would have been pounded up and turned into iron ore. This one's real interesting. What do you see this one in a minute? This little stone right here. As you can see, it's got uh, a lot of the hematite in it. Um, of course, it has the peridot, chalcedony, and the magnetite in it also. And here's the last one of those. But, let me show you this. This is really cool. This is a magnet. There you go. Let's see. Get it back here where we can see it. There you go. Alright. Now, we can put a piece of this on there. You can see it doesn't affect it really in any way. This is some of that same stuff. The, uh, Magnetite, excuse me, this apparently doesn't have much magnetite in it, um, but the peridot, chalcedony, but if you get some that has some of the magnetite in it, here's what you get. Weird stuff. And then here's that one. You can see it's got a little more in it. Ooh, did you see that thing grab a hold? You can't hardly get it off there. I mean, it is so stuck. Now check this one out. This is that pretty stone but who would think that it has mysterious powers <laughs> check it Bonk. that thing almost stands on end it has so much I mean it lifts up the magnet it has so much magnetite in it <laughs> try to put it on the end and it'll just suck it down it's, it's a lot of there's still some wax polish up here on the top. Yep. But 
that. There's a cabochon. It has magnetite in it. I don't need a way to display them, huh? Stick them on a magnet and hold them up. There you go. That's the stuff from just outside of Johnson City, Tennessee. Came originally believed to be from the Cranberry Mine, Cranberry, North Carolina. Hematite, peridot, magnetite, and chalcedony.